Welcome back everybody. So in the previous video, you watched me install the, the Curdy system and it looks a little less orange today than it did yesterday. For years I've been using a more traditional method of building showers. I'm gonna put some video up of my past showers so that you can see what I'm talking about. I look a little bit different, don't have this masculine manly beard. Kinda of look like I was a, a kid doing it. I've been building these showers for 12 years and I actually have access to the very first one. The, the tile doesn't look all that great, but it has never leaked a drop of water. The basement's unfinished you, and I always check. I always look up, look for water stains and still leak free after 12 years. So why would I change? Why would I go to this overpriced wallpaper? Pretty much just so that I had firsthand experience installing it and when people ask me, hey, what do you think of that, that Schluter stuff, the orange stuff that the, that the pros are using on YouTube? Well, I wanted to use it and test it out so that I could give you my honest opinion on how easy it went in, cost, time, all that sort of stuff. As I said earlier, we're a little more red today than we were yesterday. Um, I put red guard in a lot of places. I started out just putting red guard in the corners and got a little carried away. It's cheap, it's only $57 and you can do probably two showers with one bucket. So I did a couple layers. I mean, this thing is water tight and we're gonna test that. We're gonna do something I've never had to do before, a water test, a flood test, where you plug up the drain and you fill this up with water and see if it leaks. Now I've never had to do that before because I've always used a rubber membrane that I run all the way up the walls. Like up to here is a big rubber pan that comes up and over and you fold it in a certain way and put your, your wall board over it. So there's no way for water to come out. And then a lot of times I'll go over the top of my mortar bed with either Red Guard or Aqua Defense. Aqua Defense is made by Mop Hay and it's a greenish bluish color. Greenish, yeah, it turns green. Um, so it's like kind of double layer. The last video, I didn't do much talking and probably went pretty quick during the editing process. The curdy membrane is the sheets on the wall. Then there are curdy corners, inside and outside corners, and then there is curdy band. So this would be one plane and this would be another plane. And right around here, there is a band. It uh, goes up about three inches, two to three inches, and comes out onto the floor two to three inches. Then you bed that in with thin set. I use this, the Schluter thin set that's recommended to go with this. I uh, didn't want to take any chances. You're probably wondering why the heck did you use the Red Guard then? Which is a very good question. Basically, I didn't trust it. In theory, this, sh this, sh this Schluter membrane and the, 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 sh the band in the corners should work. There is potential for it to fail. Uh, that thin set that glues the sheets together, there's just a, a very fine fuzz on the membrane and the band in the corners. And that's what's supposed to glue everything together. Uh, the thin set is porous and can wick moisture, can wick water in. Just doesn't seem like a good idea. I never did think it was a good idea, but I decided to give it a shot just so I could say for sure it's not a good idea. That brings us to the question, Who's this designed for? Why does this stuff even exist? Well, the idea is if you're really fast and you've got to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time, you can install this entire shower and tile in the same day. I don't like doing that. I like to start my tile when I'm fresh in the morning, but I don't do it every single day of the week. So that's a, that's a big difference between me and someone who installs shower tile every single day of the week. I like to have a fresh good night's sleep and I like to take my measurements, get my laser beams out, try all sorts of different layouts so you don't end up with tiny tiles on the side. My traditional method, there is some drying time, days of drying time. Today's video is sponsored by Avalon King's Armor Shield 9 Ceramic Coating. Now you might be wondering, what is Armor Shield 9 and what is ceramic coating? Ceramic coating is a paint protectant that you put on your car after you've cleaned it, clay barred it, buffed all the scratches out, wiped it down with a solution of isopropyl alcohol and water. Then you put your Armor Shield 9 ceramic coating on. As you can see, it is super shiny. The kit comes with everything you need to install it on your car, your applicator, 
your leveling cloth, instructions, rubber gloves. It'll protect your car from the weather, the elements, from two to five years. You can put this on your headlights, you can put this on your chrome bumper, you can put this on the glass, and of course you can put it on your paint. Man, is that shiny? Get right down in there. It's like a mirror finish. Check out Avalon King's Armor Shield 9. Link will be in the top of the description. I'm a pretty good scheduler, so I could always find something else to work on in the bathroom while I was waiting for my mortar bed to cure, or while I was waiting for a layer of Red Guard or Aqua Defense to cure. I always would let this stuff dry up at least overnight before I would put my tile on. Uh, but if you are in a really big hurry, I mean, you gotta have this thing done in one day, this is the product. This is a product that can do that. Um, they say that once you get this up on the wall and you get it, all the bubbles pushed out, screeded out, squished out, you can immediately start putting tile on the wall. There's a lot, a lot to discuss about showers. When I started building houses, I think it was around 2005, all the bathrooms just had green board. No mesh tape, no red guard in the corners, no, no nothing. It was just green board, screwed up just like drywall, and the walls tiled. Now that was with the tub. You don't get water penetrating through your grout joints, through the thin set, and into the wall board. So this area up here is a very low concern for a leak or mold. Um, these areas up here and the corners are obviously the key points where water's gonna go in here. There's a few things you need to know about the red guard. You can't just slather it on. It may have looked like I did that in this video, but that was just to get it out. And then I went back with a brush and thinned it out, especially in the corners. You don't want too thick of red guard or aqua defense in your corners, because as it dries, it can crack. If it's too thick and if you try to dry it too fast, like say you got, um, a, a, a heater going and a fan, then it can dry too fast and crack on you. So your very first layer should be thin. If you really want to do it right, you'll do a primer coat where you mix uh, some water with the Red Guard and dilute it down into a watery solution. Now what that's going to do is fill up all the pores. So in certain areas uh, there's thin set, in certain areas there may be wallboard. So that wallboard, depending on what it is, is not gonna absorb the moisture, but the thin set will. And that air, that'll suck the water right out of it and it can crack. You will easily be able to tell if it cracked or if you had it too thick within an hour or so of, of putting it down. So keep that in mind when you use this, the first layer has to be thin. I think we're all dried up here. I still see a little bit of light pink, but I think I'm gonna plug this up and start pouring buckets of water in here. And we'll do a flood test. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind, I can see the overlap and it just, it just looks watertight. Oh, if I can get up off the floor. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, it's been a few weeks, months, years. <laughs> That's what they always say when they do these tests. So I'm gonna pull this stopper out and all this water's gotta go somewhere. And it's gonna go into that pump right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we'll see firsthand how long it takes to drain. This is about eight, eight and a half gallons of water in here. What is that? Is that, is that water? It's spraying everywhere. Ah, geez. Where's the stopper at? Oh man, it's flooding. What a mess.